Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. So I actually just cleaned the car up a few days ago. I had the car cover on it for the last few days and I just took it off. It is amazing how awesome this color is when it's properly cared for. Gray to most people is very, very underrated, but for me, I'm a really big fan of gray on cars and mineral gray metallic is just, it always surprises me every time we clean it up. It just looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but yeah, car's looking great, but we got a few things in that we're going to add to the car. So if you guys saw me, I installed some OEM Euro uh, black or shadow line taillights. So these are the uh, amber turn signals. They have the darker insert, so it's a little bit um, a darker red than the US versions, and they're absolutely beautiful. And one of the things I actually did was code in the rear fog. So hard to see, but there is uh, another light in there that you can code in. And I showed you guys how to enable that uh, in Bimmer code and as well as create or open up the switch on the light switch panel inside the car. Now everything is fine and dandy, it looks great, works great, but the button on the interior is just a blank button. And for me, wanting to get every single detail right, I decided to pick up an OEM Euro light switch modules. So as you can see here, we got the front fog lights and rear fog lights. On the OEM version, these are blank. They're not even buttons. You actually have to enable them. I showed you guys how to do that. But now that I have the actual buttons, it's just gonna look better. And now you can actually see that it's a button and it's not just a blank, black, you know, kind of dummy button in its place. Also, you can see right here, there is another dial. Um, that is actually for the leveling of the headlights. So you can actually move that up and down and it moves the headlights uh, up and down to get the right level that you want. Now, I'm not really sure if that works. Uh, it was probably something you have to code in. I'm not even sure if the US spec lights have that enabled, but I was just going to use the button. I was gonna disassemble this, take out the button and just plop it into my US one to the OEM one that's in the car. But I'm thinking about using this entire piece. This piece I found on eBay was only 40 bucks. <laughs> so uh, it's a pretty good deal. It's in perfect shape and I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just throw this in there because it looks a little better. We'll see, maybe we'll do some uh, experimenting and see if the light leveling works. Probably not, but uh, either way, this one over here is for the um, interior lights that dim them on the gauge cluster. Um, that's already on there, but this side is blank. I'll show you what it looks like on that one, but pretty, pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. Of course, you would think it would be really expensive being an OEM BMW piece, but this was only 40 bucks and there are cheaper ones, but I wanted to make sure I got it in as perfect shape as I could. So I ended up picking this one up. So let me go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to take out the stock one and then we'll do a comparison and we'll see if this works. All right, so this is the OEM spec one, the US spec. So as you can see, there's no buttons here in terms of the actual little icons. We did get this button working as I showed you filed down the tabs. This one I didn't uh, enable because there's no front fogs, but so I just left that be. Uh, and as you can see over here, this is blank, so you can't do the auto level adjusting of the headlights, which again, I don't think is gonna work, but and it's funny, anytime that I see blanks in a car, you know, the dummy buttons, if you will, it always makes the car feel and look cheaper. You know, it feels like you didn't pay for the extra options. So uh, having the Euro version up there, I think is gonna kind of liven it up over here and kind of make it look a little bit cleaner and just kind of work with the car and fit the car better, so. We're gonna go ahead and remove this, super simple. What you do to start is, uh, I showed you this already, but I'll show you again, is we're gonna have to remove the vent first. You don't need any tools. Um, you just can pry underneath here. This vent pops out. There's no connections or anything. Then to remove this whole module is really simple. Uh, there's two tabs, there's one here and one here. What you do is push that down, kind of push that out. So as you can see, it's coming out and go to the other side. Oh, sorry, hard to do this with the camera in the hand, but. Um, you're gonna go to this side, push that down, and pop it out. So let me do this with the camera, not in my hand. All right, so I got the tabs out. Simply just pull down, and then there's one connection point there. Take that off, and there we go. So let's go over to the workbench, show the differences, and uh, I'll see if the Euro one works. All right, here they are side by side, so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. I know it's a super minor detail, but again, I'm all about the details and I wanna do everything right and make sure it's exactly the way that I want it. So here we have the uh, Euro version. This is the US spec version. As you can see, this looks super plain. There's really nothing to it. There's these stupid two dummy buttons while over here, we got the nice rear fog and front fog button. 
Again, I don't have front fog, so that's not gonna work or it's not gonna be programmed to anything, but it's gonna be nice to at least have an option there. I could even swap over this button if I wanted to. Um, and then we got the uh, headlight level uh, lever or wheel, whatever you wanna call it, dial there as well. So pretty cool. Um, I was originally, as I mentioned, just gonna swap this button over to here, but I just like how this looks better. And uh, I'm really curious to see if that works. Got the same exact uh, plug in the back, so it's just gonna pop right in. I did notice this one only came with one clip, which is not a big deal. I can swap over uh, one clip from here. I actually think I'm gonna swap both of them because this one looks a little kind of bent out of shape and um, I'll just use them. So I'm gonna pop those off and use those clips and throw them on here and uh, we can throw it on the car. All right, so we're in the car. I got the stock tab swapped over. Uh, clean this up a little bit and we are good to go. So all I'm gonna do is take the little plug, pop it into place, put the bottom part in first. Well, that's good, all the lights work. I just noticed that. And then pop it into place. Man, that looks so good. Put the little vent in. Actually, I should probably make sure this works first before I put, uh, whatever. I know it's gonna work. I'm confident. Popped it back into place and there we go. Man oh man, that looks so good. I'm really curious about this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the car in accessory mode. Let's go ahead and test the rear fog. So we're gonna press the rear fog button. You should see a little light pop up on there, which it did. So if we go back, you can see the little rear fog light reflecting off the garage door, which is a light up there. And uh, yeah, super, super nice. I love that it actually lights up now. Um, I may switch this on over to the dummy switch since this does not do anything. Um, again, as I mentioned, this is for the Euro versions and also F30s with fog lights. So that doesn't do anything. Let's make sure all the headlight functions work. So if we turn them off, headlights turn off. That is the parking lights which turn on. I can see from here and then the headlights turn on. So perfect, all that works. And uh, let's see the uh, headlight adjustability. Yeah, nothing happens there, which I fully expected. And this one, as the OEM factory one works, it dials the gauge cluster lights. So if we pull it down, you can see around there, it kind of fades a little bit. So it's kind of hard to see on camera, but here, let me darken it up. Maybe you can see a little better. There you go. But yeah, just like factory, so. All the buttons work, everything is great. I know a lot of people are gonna say this, you can actually get the trim pieces that my buddy Tommy from Tommy Hill Garage, he did a whole video on this. Uh, it actually matches this silver trim. It also matches this silver trim, it's exactly like this. So I ended up picking those up. They're not gonna be in for a few weeks, so uh, I'll throw that in a video in the future once I come in. I'm not a big fan of silver, but since there's so many silver details around on the interior, I figure I might as well finish this off because this looks kind of unfinished. So I'll get those, throw that in, and it should look nice. So I was doing some research to figure out if you were able to code this in, and what I found was that this is actually for F30s, basically, uh, you know, just normal three series with halogen headlights. You were able to adjust the headlights this way. The Icon laser, uh, or sorry, the LED headlights that come on the F80s, they're auto leveling, which I did know, um, but this doesn't apply to any F80, F82, F83s because they're auto leveling. So that won't work, but still cool to have and I think it just looks better. I actually did a little research on this and I found that some people were able to code this in for cornering lights. Basically when you have that on and you put your blinker on, uh, another light turns on so you get more light on the side of the headlight that you're turning. I've seen that on other BMWs. I'm not sure if it really applies for these. I really don't care for that. I don't do much night driving anyway to begin with, so I'm not too worried about it, but I believe you can code that in to have that button work. So so it's not completely useless. If you really wanted to uh, kind of dive, deep dive into that and figure it out, you most certainly can, but at least I have a button for that and it lights up and uh, looks like an actual button now. All right, so we got that sorted. Really happy about that. Super happy that it came exactly the way that the picture showed and that was super clean. Sometimes buying stuff on eBay always scares me because you end up getting something that's in way worse condition than what the pictures show, but it was exactly that same one and I'm really happy with it. Came super quick actually, came uh, all the way, I'm not even sure where it came from, <laughs> but I uh, got here pretty quick. It was exactly what I described and as I mentioned, it was only 40 bucks. So search on eBay, you guys can find some cheaper ones if you want. 
Uh, obviously, you got to make sure it's in good condition and you're good to go. But second modification I actually want to do is actually with the taillights. So I was going over a few different options of what I wanted to do with these. Uh, one option I actually mentioned was getting these tinted. So I was thinking about doing like a 50% uh, film tint over it to darken them up just a little bit. But I decided to not do that, and there's a few reasons why. One, I'm on a really big OEM kick. Uh, it seems to always happen with anybody with BMWs, M3s, M cars. Uh, when you start modifying a car, you start kind of appreciating uh, the OEM stuff. Case in point, OEM and performance spoiler. I had an aftermarket CS style on here at first, and then I was like, ah, it's just not fitting right. It doesn't look right, even though it's the CS style. Ended up going with the OEM one, just fit perfectly. Uh, kind of the same thing with the taillights. I love the GTS style, but I really wanted that OEM plus look and kind of go back to not an OEM look, but just get that OEM, you know, true motorsport BMW heritage back on the car. So I went with the Euro versions. Pretty pricey for what they are, but I absolutely love them. Perfect coloring. I love the amber uh, turn signals. It looks awesome. And the coloring of these is beautiful. But uh, again, as I mentioned, I wanted to tint these just ever so slightly to get them a little bit darker. But I decided against it because I want to keep it as simple as possible. And with my color, mineral gray, tinting the taillights would kind of, I don't know, make it a little too cheesy and make it a little too dark looking. The GTS ones were nice. They were a little bit darker overall. And in pictures and everything, it almost looked like they were tinted. And it, I don't know, it made the car look a little bit cheaper, in my opinion. So having the OEM Euro versions here, I think it's perfect. But there's one part of the taillight that I do want to tint and that is actually the little reverse light area. And the main reason is because it is clear, it stands out. I do have some LED bulbs in there, which are really nice, uh, but tinting those ever so slightly. I think it's gonna darken it up just a little bit, give that extra little kind of uh, OEM plus look. So I decided to pick up some pre-cut uh, little film pieces to go on that and make it look even better. So if you guys know Golden Wrench Supply, they offer some really nice caps for the F80, F82, actually a bunch of different models. Uh, I'm running the blue set on the engine bay. Looks beautiful, very, very high quality product. And they actually offer some uh, overlays as well, which is exactly what I was talking about for the taillights. So if we pop them out here, they are pre-cut and ready to go. So all you gotta do is clean off the taillight and plop these on. Now this is tint like a film, it's not uh, vinyl or anything, so you apply these with soap and water. But since it's such a flat area, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to do that. Just gonna have to clean them up really well. Now I did ceramic coat these, uh, the taillights, so I'm going to have to remove some of the ceramic on the reverse light section to make sure these stick and apply properly. So we're gonna go do that. Uh, but I mean, it doesn't really get any simpler than this. As you can see, it says left, and right, so you can't mistake of which side goes on which, and that's uh, a pretty simple install. So let's go ahead, let's get the taillights cleaned up, get the ceramic off, and get these on. side on I realize on camera it almost looks like vinyl but it is for sure tint <laughs> a very very uh, kind of dark tint but it's kind of hard to tell right now in the dark I'll show you some daylight pictures but I think it darkens it up just enough kind of cleans it up so we can see over here see the uh, super duper clear version the clear side and the darker side over here so looks pretty cool I like it so here's a little bit better angle. You can see the bulb in there. It's film, you know, it's tint, it's not vinyl. Kind of hard to show that on camera, but definitely looks cool. Darkens it up, kind of fits the whole tail light. And that clear section doesn't stand out as much. So I come over here on the side I didn't do yet. And you can see the clear just pops out. Either way, I think it looks good on both sides, but I'm gonna try this out, see if I like it. If not, I can just pull them right off and uh, keep it the way it is. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the driver's side and show you how it looks like. Mm -hmm. 
guys we got both sides on didn't need any soapy water or anything it just goes flat on just want to make sure you line it up properly with the angles and there's no white showing but here's a little bit better look from the back looks really clean and uh, I'm happy with it it's a simple enough little modification then obviously you can just peel right off if you don't like it or want to change it up but it does look really good kind of makes the taillights look darker as well which is what I was wanting to accomplish with tinting the entire thing but I think this is a better alternative keeping the OEM red or the Euro OEM red, the darker red, and uh, darken it up a little bit just with the reverse uh, tint. So it does look good. Let me uh, throw the reverse lights on for you guys so you can see. And uh, so you obviously see that they're still functioning and you can still see them and everything. But uh, yeah, so far, I'm really happy with it. I'm going to get you some uh, daytime shots so you can see it a little bit better. And uh, yeah, then we can wrap the video up there. guys so here are some daytime shots to get you a little bit better idea I think it works well with all the black accents that I do have on the car and uh, kind of really darkens up the tails without having to do the full film the full tint and I really like it I'm a big fan of it and it's uh, see-through enough there you can definitely see the bulb obviously when it's on and it looks really really clean so if you want to pick those up those are from Golden Wrench Supply there's some others out there, but I just wanted ones that fit really well and obviously high quality tint. So it's going to last and look good. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with that look. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you have any questions at all about the Euro Fog Switch or anything else on the car, please let me know in the comments below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.